implication of over of legal stolen staff of office and looting revealed. In the African setting, every king is enthroned through traditional rights and every powerful men and women within the community will contribute a portion of his or her power to the king according to Yoruba culture. The crown and the staff of office before the coming of colonial master symbolize the authority of office of the king in the kingdom. At the arrival of the colonial master, the kingship authority is subdued and placed under the governor. Recently in Lagos, hoodlums took advantage of the ancestors' protest to perpetrate evil and stole the staff of office of the Oba of Lagos. The implication of the stolen staff are firstly, the absence of the staff denies the king power to act in the presence dispensation in any government function. Also, he is more or less not a king but ordinary man. Secondly, the contending families interested in the throne can go to court and contain his right to act as king and possibly the throne. Thirdly, it will attract invocation of demons and power on whoever stole or ever touched it. This is because every means of getting the staff back will be explored. Do not be surprised if the thieves go mad and death will be hovering the home of whoever has it. Lastly, the staff is not ordinary again. Whoever is in possession is living with mammoth influence. As for those who loot his palace, the source of youth's death, madness or anything is possible. The coffin is a sensitive thing even if the money is embezzled money. The coffin's significance is always bad. The swimming pool saga is another problem. People jumped into the swimming pool. They do not know if it is the shrine of a goddess. If destinies are stolen or destroyed by these means, nobody should be blamed. It is the youth that play with the lion's tail. Thank you for listening to this news. Nothing is going to happen to anybody, my viewers. Nothing, I tell you. See, the king contributed to the current situation that is going on in the state today. See, let me tell you, evil goes after those that cause evil. But he that knows nothing about evil, evil can never go close to them. If anything wanted to happen to those people, I tell you of the truth, these people would have been dealt with that same day. These people would have been held down in the palace of the king that same day. These people wouldn't have been able to do away with the money inside the coffin that same day. Do you understand? Look at the huge amount of money inside the coffin. And you're telling me that um, the, the, the money inside the coffin will do them harm. Nothing will happen to anybody. What is the king doing with dollars in his coffin? Huh? And the stuff of office that you are talking about, that you know, that you said that is spiritual. Yes, I agree with you. That stuff of office, if truly it is a real and well enthroned king, the day that they collected that staff of office, the person holding that staff of office supposed to have been struck dead immediately because he is about denying the king of his right hand because the staff of office is more or less like the right hand of the king. Without the staff of office, decisions cannot be made. You understand? But this is a week now since the staff of office was collected. Nothing has been reported happened to anybody. According to the, um, to the, uh, uh, to the famous uh, uh, wizard, he said it that if truly the king of Akeonu was properly enthroned, 
that type of office supposed to have been started, supposed to have started doing its work by dealing with those that stole the staff of office. But it's a week now, we've not heard anything. We've not heard anything. Even invading the palace of the Oba would have been difficult for, for the people to go, to go in. But these people easily went into the palace of the Oba and destroyed and took away all valuables. The palace of the Oba is more or less a spiritual palace, but the people invaded into it easily, destroyed and do away with, cut away with valuables. And someone is here telling me that something is going to happen to them. Nothing will happen to them because the Oba has offended. He has offended. If he hasn't offended, I tell you, nobody would have been able to invade into, in, into his palace. See, even if that uh, um, uh, and staff is spiritual, eh, the staff will, will, will choose to be, to be quiet because of the atrocity of the Oba. Even if the palace of the Oba is covered with witches, the witches will choose to be quiet because the Oba has committed an, an atrocity. He has offended his people. The people that 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 uh, that is supposed to sit with as the oba to intervene for yeah? you allow the, the state government to use you to punish and make these people go go hungry and starve look at the quantity of palliative so in seen in his palace please please let us call his spirit spirit and tell us the truth the oba has committed he has committed an offense and nothing is going to happen to those that, that, that cut away with his valuables. The people that share his money, nothing will happen to them. Instead, they will be blessed. Yes, they will be blessed. The only thing I will just say generally is that anyone with a staff of office, please and please, to this channel, I am pleading. Go locate him and hand over his staff of office for him and let him and let peace free allow god god almighty to fight for you he will not be in this office forever he will not be in the office forever jesus will fight for you give him his staff of office and let him be all right so um my viewers I don't know what your own idea or comment concerning all that I've just been said about the Oba of Lagos. I just made my own comments. Please um, deem it fit to make your own comments. Click on the subscription button as well as the bell button to get updated whenever we upload any new videos. Thank you.